Ready? Hi, I'm on downtown State Street, which straddles the line between Virginia and Tennessee. I'm actually standing in Virginia right now, but if, you, if, you, if I crossed the street, I would be in Tennessee. Uncle Sam's over there is actually in Tennessee. Uh, it's a funky, maybe six, seven block area of old buildings, some of which have been beautifully restored, some of which are in the process of, um, with a number of antique stores, boutiques, um, uh, restaurants, clubs, um, the occasional business bank or two, um, a fun place to spend the afternoon and the evening, um, which a lot of people do. It's a tourist draw and yet the locals also enjoy it. Um, this is the strip upon which I have located the fictional club that belongs to Kylie and Cooper, uh, their club Acoustics. Uh, the Acoustics is a long-held dream of the Barstow family. For two generations, they have wanted to open the club in downtown Bristol, and they finally have their chance. But as the story begins, Kylie is about to lose everything because of the dishonesty and irresponsibility of her late husband. However, she becomes the um, recipient of the generosity of a mystery benefactor who has to remain secret, as does the source of, of his generosity, which lands her right in the sights of the DEA because with no explanation for that money and the suspicion that drugs are being dealt out of, of acoustics, she is the most likely suspect for being the dealer. At that point, our hero, Rin Navarro, is inserted by the DEA undercover in the persona of Reynolds Campbell, which isn't too far from the truth because our hero, although he grew up in Texas, his mother is from Kentucky and he is well, very familiar with the music, the culture, and the uh, uh, values and customs of this area, which means that he can pull off the perfect sub subterfuge. Kylie does not know she is being lied to. Kylie already has trust issues because of the uh, dishonesty and uh, perfidy of her late husband, and she is not the woman to forgive a liar when she finds out she has been lied to. That being the crux of the story, nevertheless, the story is very much from this area, from this region, uh, with the all of the uh, ambiance and uh, atmosphere of the Appalachians.